These days, a lot of emergency rooms aren't making a great first impression. Like so many hospitals, the concern here at Fountain Valley is that people will see the tenting and the construction and the fencing and might wind up putting off critical care. The concern is that the tent kind of makes the facility look like a war zone. And that can be uh, anxiety producing and intimidating to patients that come in. But the zone is actually a good sign that the ER can handle any overflow. So if you need care, don't hesitate. One of the worst thing you can do is allow fear of COVID to interfere with your ability to take care of another problem. For example, chest pain, abdominal pain, diabetes, hypertension, and for stroke, use the FAST acronym to spot the signs. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call 911. If you wait uh, on a stroke uh, and, and you wait several hours before you come in, our optimal stroke treatment may no longer be available for you. If you have an abdominal condition like appendicitis and you wait for a long period of time, that appendix may perforate and a perforated appendix is much more complicated to deal with than a non-perforated appendix. Also today, Dr. Korber has another important message. Get vaccinated. The main thing with the vaccine is that the vaccine is going to be responsible for ending this pandemic, just like vaccination was responsible for ending smallpox worldwide. This is the ER staff posing after getting their second dose. Our, our entire emergency department physician group has been vaccinated. Nobody had any side effects other than maybe some flu symptoms on the second vaccine. Some of us, myself included, had a sore arm. Othena.com is the Orange County website to find out the latest on eligibility and vaccine appointments. Be patient you'll likely have to check back often. Meanwhile, Facebook recently vowed to do their part to quash the flood of vaccine misinformation on social media. The ability of the vaccine to help you fight off this infection or attenuate this infection is incredibly high. So you wanna look at that data that shows how effective this vaccine is and try to ignore some of the uh, crazy information that you can find online that will potentially mislead you into making a bad decision. And just one final bit of advice, do your part to get us through. I want the public to know that the safest thing you can do while we're getting through this vaccine program is maintain social distancing, wash your hands, wear a mask and wear goggles when you're ever in close contact with anybody else. It is still the best protection against this virus until the majority of the population has been vaccinated. This is Valerie Starn reporting for your PCTA.